I hope you recorded before you said record. As I said record. You were late. You were late. It's a it's a digital delay. <laughs> I never mind. This is great. It's been a minute, guys. We haven't recorded a podcast in like three, four months. I know it's been crazy times. We'll what was it, June? Welcome to the Dad Cheese Podcast, the Dad Group you don't have to go to. Hey Connor. So Hey John. We're uh we're we're live streaming our first episode back. Yeah. And you'll uh, notice in the uh, show notes I decided to pay homage to one of our favorite TV shows, Community, by naming this the repilot. Because we're gonna do things a little bit differently this year. I know we say that every year, but we really Dude, mean that. let me tell you what. Not only are we gonna do things differently this year, but we're also not gonna hold up to our prom- promise. <laughs> you know how I know that? We're supposed to have a guest on this episode. No, not this one. We're going to do no, guests on this the one? next one. Oh, then maybe we will. No, because we just wanted to get started. But we need, I mean, we needed to get started. And we just haven't confirmed with any of the guests that we want to have. But we have some guests that we want to have. That's a fact. Like, we I have a few guests that have guests, have agreed. But we actually have some guests. Yeah. They may or may not want us to pay them. And if they want us to pay them, then we might not have those guests. But <laughs> Because our Patreons don't exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we can call it, though. We can start like a, like a low tier, two, one, two, five dollars, something like that. I like the I like the one or two dollars just to get guests on. And then that's what we'll call it is the guest fund, the guest fund tier, the guest fund P- tier, dude. Thank you, thank you, Patreon. We are on Patreon. I don't know what it is. It'll be in the show notes. I'm sure. We'll figure. Yeah, we that haven't out. really set it up yet, but Podbean gives you one. So we have one. I, I set one up. When we first started podcasting. Yeah, but we never really felt like we had content. But now we have a reason because right. we might have to pay some of these guests right. because <laughs> this is what they do for a living. And right. We don't have any ad sponsors yet, so this is what we want to do for a living. <laughs> this is what we want to do for a living. Yeah. Anyways, so the point behind not having guests it was a tangent because that's how my brain works. As you can see from behind me, we were talking about live streaming and all that. I have I have brought all my stuff inside in preparation for a hurricane. Yes. If you're if you're not watching the the video, then you can't see that. But trust me, it's there. Um, yep. Some lawn chairs, your pride flag, your your car. Yeah, dude, this wicker. is my minivan. Check that thing out. Ain't it sporty? It's Very great. Nice. It seats two. <laughs> I got my my kids' little outside table. I I told my neighbor I, I feel like I have to give up my Florida man card. Why is that? I put up shutters. You did. <gasps> Listen, this is a category one that that we're gonna it is. hit with. And let me tell you how I know it's a category one. It's named Nicole. How <laughs> many Nicoles do you know? I know two actually. My it's wife knows two, and. She talks to both of them frequently, but they're in totally different circles. So I always have to clarify with her which one she's talking about. Which Nicole are you talking about? So yeah. so let me ask you this. Picture in your mind the personality of each of those Nicoles. One of them is a hurricane I would not want to mess with. Really? <laughs> I is think it, so, yeah. Is it the one I am familiar with? Um, I, honestly, I feel like both Nicoles are, that, I, that my wife knows are pretty impressive people. Uh, listen, I'm not make talking a about being pretty intimidating or not. storm. I understand the stigma of the name Nicole. They're no <laughs> Katrina, though. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> so we we did not put shutters on our house because uh-huh. we have impact windows. You have impact glass, yeah. Except for the slider, I thought about it. I decided not to. It's like under a lot of cover. So yeah, you slide. But we were putting we were putting shutters on my grandmother's house mm-hmm. yesterday. I only found out this thing was there yesterday. <laughs> I know. They're, they're worried about the water. So even if it was tropical storm, they don't want the water coming in. Hmm. But we're putting it up. And I was like, we had this, like all the neighbors were looking at us like we were crazy because it's it's cat one. I mean, I mean, yesterday honest, was the most tropical storm. <laughs> I haven't been in a cat one in a long time. I don't really I know I'm not supposed to be panicked, but I know I'm supposed to do some stuff to be prepared. <laughs> It's funny because we've had major hurricanes like hit us dead on a few yeah. times in a row. And then we got like a grazing tropical storm. Yeah. So it was like, well, it's, I don't it's know like what to all do for a light storm. Yeah. But, but and not just that, but it's like a light storm that's like that's coming to hit it's us. Like, hit it's me. coming here. 
it, like, like it's coming. It it's closer me. than than the storm we had earlier this year. Yeah. Um, and by the time people listen to this, it would have come and gone. And you know, hey guys, we made it. We're fine. Prayers for <laughs> yeah anyone who, who who suffers damage from. Amen. I'm sure there will be. It always surprises you. I'm um, sure I'm gonna lose something. I my fence came down in the last one and. Yeah, eh. we were putting we were putting shutters on my grandparents' house, mm. and like people were looking at us like we're like we're crazy. And one lady drove by, and she's like, "Is it coming? Is it coming here?" And I was like, "If you build yeah. it, it comes." <laughs> no, because we're putting the shutters up, so now it won't. <laughs> Correct. But I had to think like a lot of her neighbors are new, and they're doing the thing. Like my grandparents have been in that neighborhood for like fifty years. Yeah, a long time. A long time. And a lot of their neighbors are newer Floridians. Yeah. You know, they come in, they buy the lot, they tear it down, they build a new house because they live right across from the intercoastal. Or a, not the intercoastal, but like a canal yeah, that connects saying, yeah, to it. A, a canal. Um, they live on it uh, across the street from water you could put a boat on. Yeah. Um, so they get some some wealthy rel- uh, relatives, rel- wealthy neighbors. I wish. I wish we had wealthy uh, relatives. <laughs> <laughs> The, the wealthy relatives that I do have do not give me any money. I know that for yes. sure. Um, <laughs> so I was thinking, like, these folks got to be looking at us thinking, like, are we, maybe we should be preparing more because those folks have been here forever and they're putting their shutters up. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they know something we don't know. You know look, man, I, I'm standing outside and my neighbor is getting his boat ready. And it's, I mean, just doing general good to do tropical storm stuff it's gonna be windy you don't want your stuff to blow away bring your bring your hoses inside your electrical cords inside bring in all the light toys the car the plastic table the lawn for i could probably leave this outside and it'll get blown over like it's not gonna be that bad but i lived through dorian (laughs) and and that storm was brutal but not for us and that's my like that's got me second guessing everything now because it yeah. used to be I could tell you when when we were going to get a hurricane or not. So like the hur- the hurricane center is all it's going to be the worst hurricane season we've ever seen. I'm like, dude, it's rained all fall or all spring. It, it we are not going to get any hurricanes, and we don't. There's like the, the one will like skirt the the coast maybe, mm-hmm. but it doesn't ever hit us. We're never we're fine, and then like. This year we were really dry. I'm like, dude, we're getting a, we're getting a hurricane this year for sure. And it took until Ian last month was it September maybe to hit us. Yeah, yeah, I think that was September, in September. October. Anyways, it took till Ian to hit us, and I'm like, all right, where are all these storms that we're supposed to be getting? And they just they, so I know we're gonna get them, but like it used to be, you you knew when they were gonna hit and where they were gonna go, and it was pretty consistent. And we've gotten better at like tracking, like predicting where it's going to go. Yeah. But like Dorian really threw a wrench into that system. Like it was supposed to come slam right into us. And then it just hung out on the Bahamas for three days. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it took a vacation on the way to Florida and then left us. So eh, whatever. But now, now what? So, so like I've got two kids. If it was just me, I'm not putting up hurricane shutters. It's a category one storm. <laughs> whatever but i have two kids that rely on me and they need a roof over their head yeah. and if i don't put the <clears throat> shutters up and then something bad happens then what then yeah what? well for sure and i i have totally become a worrier as mm. i've gotten older like can, we're going yeah. we're anytime like something's coming like i i worry about it <laughs> um especially like when the kids get sick i just imagine i can't help but think of all the germs that are in my house when that happens and what um, what and do they have? Stop. Do they have the latest and greatest have? kill the kids thing? Well, I just can't stop cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I just want this to be over. And then you know, a hurricane comes. I'm like, well, I gotta, I gotta do what I can because I don't know. I even though we have impact windows, I would not not for this storm. We'll be fine. But I wouldn't mind putting putting shutters on my windows and like a Cat three, maybe a Cat yeah. four, just because. Even the technician that came and repaired one of my windows was like, oh, yeah, I would cover these. I mean, <laughs> they're not impervious. Like, they'll break. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they're not going to necessarily let something come in. 
but it'll break and it will be expensive to replace. And then it's two thousand dollars <laughs> to replace it. Yeah. So, so that that was like my on. my whole thing was like my in laws they have a lifetime warranty on their windows and I'm like wait a minute do you mean if I go Sounds outside expensive. right now and I hit your windows with a baseball bat and I break your window somebody will come out and replace it for free? Yeah. I'm like there's no way. I that didn't. I didn't do it. True. I didn't do it because because I thought I heard a child. Baby check. Um, yeah. I didn't do it because that would just be rude. Um, yeah. And I'm not that guy. They appreciate it. Um, but like I would totally do that. Like, I wouldn't do that. But I would totally if that was like if I had this warranty where a hurricane comes, breaks your windows, it's covered. I'm not covering my windows. You kidding me? It's too great out of your warranty. pocket, not mine, and I don't have to spend the, <laughs> the hour putting up my shutters <laughs> or have those stupid studs hit, sitting out of my wall. Yeah, well, and we when we bought this house, we purposely ripped all those out. We ripped all the little little studs out and filled in the holes so you couldn't see them. And then I talked to the window tech, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I would cover these windows." <laughs> it's like, Are you serious? Like, I just did all that work to not. Co- I bought impact windows. <laughs> Like yeah, but they're not unbreakable. Yeah, I, they're I just think designed like to take one thing. hit. <laughs> right. So we're just coming out of uh, Halloween season, and I have been waiting to but, record but this episode. But spooky season's coming up. It's just around the spooky corner. Spooky season's coming up. Yeah, it's just around the corner. But <laughs> spooky. When your in-laws come, is spooky season for the holidays. <laughs> Are we going to have to no, cut that part out? <laughs> I just really like Halloween. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I've been waiting to record this because I didn't get to tell you my Halloween joke. you have a Halloween joke? I have a Halloween joke. I've been telling everybody. Does it have to do with vampires? It does not. It has to do with zombies and ghosts. Why don't zombies eat ghosts? Because they're incorporeal, duh. Because they taste like sheet. <laughs> Touche. I knew you were going to like that one. <laughs> my wife has heard that joke so much, and I have been so tempted to teach my children to say that. Oh, yeah. Because Titus is, he's at the age where he has started, what he wants to tell jokes. And <laughs> that's great. It's funny. So we've done the interrupting cow. <laughs> you know, he loves oh, yes. that one. But now. <laughs> that's funny. I um, would love to see him do that. They do not let you get through it. It is true <laughs> interrupting cow. Um, <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> and, but he doesn't, he can't like remember jokes. So like he kind of does the interrupting cow, but now he'll say like, hey, I have a joke. Okay, Titus, what is it? But. <laughs> so he remembers the punchline, but he doesn't remember the setup. He, he just says butt or chicken butt because <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Kyle taught him. What is it like? What's up, or chicken butt? What, what chicken butt or something like that? Something like that. Whatever, like somebody <laughs> says, like, "What's up?" and you just reply with chicken butt. Whatever that joke is. So now it'll just say like so I have a funny. joke, chicken butt, and then he'll just start saying words with butt. Uncle Connor, that's a potty word. <laughs> Charlotte May has started everything, <laughs> not everything, but everything having to do with going to the bathroom is a potty word. So, honey, go sit on the potty. That's a potty word. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact. <laughs> okay, go. So it started. So she started school in June and like mm-hmm. like preschool. And shortly after, like she'd come home and say, that's a potty word. And my initial, wait a minute, hold up that can. Huh. There's a it new says, trend. It says Pepsi Cola. It does say Pepsi Cola. This is new trend. Um, it must be coming from Pepsi products. Hold on. I need to back up. We're going to interrupt this. Wait a minute. A Wait a minute. Let's go back. We'll come back to your can. We'll okay. Come we'll come back to my can. Because that, that leads into a whole other thing about types of soda that I just learned about today. Let me so. let me tell you. This is, this is, so far, we are mimicking my, 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 my thought stream as a 30-year-old pretty well. We're coming back. Yeah. Um, so put a pin in that. So, so put a pin in that. So she comes. The problem is I forget <laughs> the pin is there. I will remember. So, so she she starts coming home and like that's a potty word. That's a. And my thought is, mommy and daddy have a potty mouth. Like we are potty mouths. Mm. And my child has gone to school and she has dropped an f bomb or something, and the teacher has said that's a potty word. 
It's got to be the case. And I've asked the teacher, and that is not the case. She does not have a potty mouth at school, thank God, because she does hear. That's good. Sort of. Only only after one of us says something. But, so like, where is this coming from? Are you not allowed to say poop and pee? Like, what do you say when you have to go use the restroom? Like, Yeah. I have to potty word. I have to. You've said it. You've said it. Right. In saying potty word, you've said it. You have said the potty word. I, I don't. I don't know, man. Yeah. Well, and I know you've been having uh, as much trouble potty training number two as I have, and not like just your second kid, but also training also the second kid to do number, number two. two. <laughs> specifically, number two in double sense. Yeah, that's a double entendre. It's like a triple entendre. Sure. Because <laughs> it's the number two kid trying to get him to do number two. And there was another two in there. I forgot what it was. I don't know what the um, two is. But yeah, the I thought this, so. You and you had two girls. I heard that potty training girls was easier. So did I. And that does not seem to be the case. I don't think it's potty training girls. I think it's potty training the first one is easy. The first one is pretty easy. And and now listen. And we did we a lot had of work our with issues Titus. With and I may say again. So we we did a lot of work with Titus, and what I mean by that is my wife did a lot of work with Titus. Um, <laughs> Isn't that the because case? I just kept thinking like, hey, this he's not ready. Like, just wait. Now she worked with him like since he he turned to like started working with him. And Riley, I think it's just it's just that we don't have the same time. Like we're keeping up with 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 number one. It's hard to keep get number two on a schedule to potty. She's got no problem going. She knows how to do it. She just also well, knows that she can just pee in her diaper and then not have to stop doing what she's doing. Right? So so Imagine. your wife was uh was working when when Titus was young, right? Yeah. Um and we both have been when Titus was younger, we were both pretty flexible when we were doing potty training with him. But he he took to it pretty quick. But then so now when potty training started Riley was at daycare. She was in, in daycare, yeah. And Titus, uh, when he was, the school he was at, like the twos room, their goal is to potty train. Yeah. Like all they do is, is when he was train. there. Like they, when he was there, like they do numbers and letters and stuff on mm-hmm. that in between going potty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what they do is potty up. train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but they have everybody like the teachers all have the same class and where they are now they, I don't know, they have that flexibility I think they have a lot more mixed group mm. um, and they yeah they take them to the potty but yeah potty training number two so I, I wonder if that's the issue because ours with Charlotte May we started potty training her right about 18 months no it was a little earlier than that um, because we, we, we were in cloth diapers we didn't want to have to deal with it deal with it the whole time by the time she was yeah i think like 15 16 months old she was going by herself she would pee by herself but you had to take her like she would like it wasn't like she knew she had to go but she could go by herself Mm -hmm. but she was in a diaper most of the time because she didn't always so with mabel she's been in like since it became time to potty train pee no issues mom was home with her for that but then but number two, it's like she just doesn't want to. I I don't know. Yeah. And and now she's at daycare, and they sent her home Friday and then today because she she. Uh, sorry guys, she had diarrhea twice. Well, that's like a big no no in preschool during the day. That's a big no no. Yeah, in preschool. Man. Look, that's a big no no anywhere. I I that's like pooping. Everybody poops, man. <laughs> it, everybody poops. But diarrhea, man, that's like embarrassing. <laughs> and nothing oh, you can do about it. I wish it banana. was. Banana? Yeah. No, banana will help. I have to get a banana then. Yeah, it's I not didn't a know she'll eat a banana. <laughs> yeah, no, bananas bananas will help with that. I'll have to get bananas. Um in this hurricane. Yeah. Um I forgot where I was going with that. But yeah, training number two is and I think it's just because we have another time. Like with with just when it was just Titus, like Riley wasn't really moving around. Um, but yeah. keeping up with the younger one, you're they're already on the older kid's schedule, you know. So you're already trying to keep it going. It's tough. I, I guess I guess that's it. 
And because like Charlotte May, when she first started going, it was like all of a sudden she would, she she, like disappear, and then you you hear yeah. the toilet seat and, oh, good for you. Once once it clicked, which it clicked pretty quick for her, it was easy. But uh, I'm gonna get that M and M. You gotta get that M and M, man. The treat. <laughs> the treat. Treat. <laughs> yeah, man. Anyway, let's circle back to this can because this so is a new can, trend. Yeah. This is new trend in sodas. So Pepsi's rebranding some of their stuff to be like, what do they call it? Um, zero? No, no. I'll Retro? go with zero. I, I like the zeros. I like the diets. This the is zeros. zero. Um, it's like soda shop, like soda shop flavors. And so Pepsi now has <laughs> this one, which is Pepsi mixed with cream soda. And I don't know if you've seen this, but Dr. Pepper also has a Dr. Pepper with cream soda. So the new trend is putting cream soda in your already established cola. And I am for it because <laughs> it is delicious. <laughs> it's like not quite vanilla. You know, I got like vanilla Coke. Okay. And man, oh man, I remember when vanilla Coke first came out. That was the bomb. But this is <laughs> this is different. So This is a whole other level. Maybe so this is the response me, to vanilla to Coke. Me, but uh, Cream soda is root beer float it's a treat it's not like a but but a cream soda if you get a cream soda oh you mean like a creamy soda like no 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 like cream soda like 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 the soda cream soda Uh i think that is the flavor of a root beer float that's why they made it you you know what you want a root beer float but you don't want the ice cream have a cream soda it's a cream soda root beer Cream, <laughs> beer and ice cream, root beer float, cream soda. Yeah, mine as well. I mean, that, I love that's kind of what I've I think always of loved it. cream soda. I can see that, and I, I've just always liked it. And so now you, I, have, I didn't mean to. I bought soda today. I didn't mean to, and I bought a case of Pepsi with cream soda, and a case of Dr Pepper with cream soda. <laughs> so I'll tell you which one's better by the time I finish those cases. Um, but I'm for it. But I also <laughs> learned today, thanks to uh, John Green. That uh, there is actually a specific category for Dr. Pepper of soda. So you got like Pepsi. Pepsi and Coke are your colas, right? Okay. And then you have like Mug and Barg's Root, root beer. beer. And legally. Don't forget A&W. A&W. I, don't know. I guess that's like one of the bigger ones. But there's, but like Root Beer is like a category of mug. soda. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one that came to my mind. Um, I don't see A and W in at Publix. Really? Am I missing something? I don't think so. Don't anyway, um, IBC. That's the one I see um, in the IBC glass bottle. But it's it's like categories, right? You have your colas, mm-hmm. and then like if you want to have you Publix have brand stuff, you'll have your cola, which is like your 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 yeah, Publix cola. Pepsi. Publix cola. Your mm-hmm. your Pepsi and Coke competitor. You have Publix root beer, just root beer competitor. Publix lemon lime, just Sprite competitor. Um, and then you have Mr. Publix or Dr. Publix, Mr. or whatever yeah. they call it. I think Dr. it's Dr. Thunder. Publix because because I remember I would drink Dr. Publix, but not Mr. Pibb because Dr. Publix finished the degree. <laughs> he got a degree. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Pibb, this is this is actually why it's relevant because uh, John Green was saying because Mr. Um, Pibb is a Dr. Pepper guy. It's a quack. Mr. Pibb is an imposter, and it's it's a, it was originally called Peppo. When it first came out, because it was Coke's answer to Dr. Pepper. And like, there's a whole category called pepper sodas. And it's not because pepper's in them, it's because they are trying to imitate Dr. Dr. Pepper. Pepper. (laughs) Yeah, it's its own category of soda. I'm sorry, we don't carry Dr. Pepper. Is root beer okay? No, it's a different category. That's a different category. No, it would be we don't carry is Pib, Mr. Pib, okay? No, but they frequently say, "Is, is root beer okay? What, root beer? No, those are totally different sodas. Oh, I know. One has caffeine and one doesn't. <laughs> that is also true. <laughs> and now, I don't know. Could you have root beer mixed with cream soda? Would that defeat the purpose? Eh, I'm pretty sure we'll I've have done to it. see. You remember when you we'll were a kid and you does. go to those like like the skating ring or something, and they you'd have the and you had to fill up your own soda, and you did mm-hmm. the suicide, and you got everything. You did the suicide. I remember working <laughs> at a summer camp, working at Life for Youth Ranch. And oh, right. I don't think we had, one. I don't remember if we had sodas. If we did, we didn't use them often. Um, but we had, 
Like oh, I think Gatorade. at least we had a Gatorade machine, like a like a fountain Gatorade, and there were special Oops. drinks you could mix together for the kids. With vodka, and there was one. This was no, that's for the counselors. Uh, <laughs> There's a Christian camp. We didn't do that. Y'all um, were Baptists. It's not a non-denom camp. See, we did have a couple counselors get fired for dope. But that's totally different. Totally different uh, time. <laughs> so, yeah, that doesn't come out of a fountain. Um, yet. Wait, we did, we'd mix we'd mix the the fruit juices together, and I just remember one was called the Hulk, and it was like it was green, I and mean, they didn't have green Gatorade back then, so you had to mix the lemon lime with the blue in just the right way. That's gross. To get, to get the Hulk, and that's that's what it was gross. called. <laughs> and just throughout the summer, you, we would just mix random things because the kids didn't care. It was sugar juice. I know the sugar. That's all they wanted. Man. <laughs> You just mix all kinds of stuff in there, and you're like, this one's called the sunflower. You know, this one's called pond water. That would have been a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. That would have been a good camp drink. Oh, man. We had, when I, when I did summer camp, the counselors would buy a, they'd buy the, the, the regular bottle of, of Gatorade. And actually, it didn't matter what Gatorade you bought because they were all proportionally sized. So if you drink the bubble, that, that little top, bubble part before it becomes like a okay. cylinder you drink the bubble yeah. and then you refill that with vodka it didn't matter what uh, it was uh, it was like the same proportion so it always if you got a little bottle of gatorade and you drank the bubble it would it was fine you drank like a normal then you were getting hydrated and drunk i didn't do it because two reasons <laughs> i don't like vodka and i'm good man <laughs> <laughs> that's just like you know, we had a friend who had that one drink, the Blue Whale, and it tasted like Blue Gatorade with vodka. That's and, exactly. And it wasn't. I did get to see him make it once, but it's like a secret, and I don't remember it anyway. Um, but he yeah, makes but a lot of crap like, into that it's stuff. A ton. <laughs> he makes a lot of stuff in there, and we almost got Ryan to drink it that one time. <laughs> who, who <laughs> now I think we should have just let him. I don't know. We should have let him. I probably, probably Matt, but we should have <laughs> just let him do it. Um, not a big deal. <laughs> anyway, it could have just been Gatorade and vodka. That's all it tasted like. That's really that is what it tastes like. I it had more in it because you could taste that there was more in it, and it was oh, it like, absolutely it tasted had more in it. like this is going to mess you up. But <laughs> yeah, I was like, nah, in- I'll stick with beer. <laughs> yeah, it was good. No, it wasn't. Bad. Um, do you want to touch on uh, stay at home dadding? Yeah, a little bit because we've talked about a lot. We're really kind of catching up here with everybody. Yeah. Um, th- I, and I had a whole intro planned, but we kind of get into a bunch of other stuff. I was going to say, this is our sad episode. I like Stay it. Stay home, dad. I like S- it. S-A-H-T. Sad. It's a sad, sad episode. episode. A sad episode. Sad episode. This I'm is a sad. sad episode. Yes. Um, so recently I, uh, lost my job and I'm Sorry, currently dude. looking for a new one, but until then I'm kind of like a stay at home dad, which let me tell sort you. Of. It's not as much fun as it sounds. Well, I got two things for you. You ready? Yeah. The first thing, and I, and I had this thought right after because we we saw each other today. Uh, yeah. Right after I left you, I had this thought like like I wonder if and I don't I don't actually think this is true about you, but like it popped into my head. Man, I wonder if he feels bad that his wife is making money and he's just a bump on a log. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I say that with as 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 mean as that sounds <clears throat> one i don't think you you feel that way because whatever and and two i know that i felt terrible cuz recently i think mm-hmm. maybe since the last time we recorded i lost my job too um <laughs> but that was different around, man. i got you know, a new weird. job and then i got screwed out of that job so that one yeah. I mean, was a little bit different it was but yeah in that time for as much as folks are talking about how many jobs are out there, we keep losing them. And it's hard to find a new job. Like It is. It's it so depends hard. on the, the industry you're in, and I think that's the issue. Yeah. Like And I, I guess I will clarify but, it is it is hard to find a job that will sustain my family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like there's right. a there is a certain amount of money that I need to make right. to keep this house. No, and I mean and I yeah, exactly. Target is not gonna cut it. And that, that was the thing. Like I went and I worked for a, uh, well, relatively well-known uh, yeah. uh, 
in the company and um they were great. I actually loved working there. I loved every it was like the first job I had where yeah. I liked everybody I worked with. It was That's good. Yeah, it was like this is weird. <laughs> like, I'm not supposed to like this many people at my job. And yeah. I actually felt bad when I left because I mean, they couldn't the position I was in didn't pay what I needed and yeah. they were going to going to give me a raise. So I mean, it was fine. That often is the case. Yeah, and that's okay. And and there's no animosity. We left on I left on good terms and and whatever, but it was like I had to go get a job because I needed something coming in. I had savings because yeah. I've worked on that. But savings only get you so far before it's an empty bank account. <laughs> yep. So I mean, you need something coming in, so I like Yeah. It's t- and there was a while where I didn't even have that. <laughs> It took me a while to get there. It's rough. so yes and no. Like I did feel bad because there was things that, and there's still things that we want to buy and we want to spend money on, and we just can't right now. Yeah, and it's not necessities. Like it's it's some comfort things. It's some some projects we want to do that I we just mm-hmm. can't put money in. You know, and, and it's the not worst like part frivolous. is now you have the time to do it. Yeah, but and I don't can't afford to. But do I it. can't justify spending that money on this project I want to do. Now that I have the time, yeah. when I have other things that I need to pay. Yeah. Well, and honestly, it's like things to spend money to improve the podcast or yeah. Yeah, yeah. anything like that. Like like worthwhile endeavors that you just can't spend the money on. So I feel bad for that. But when, when I first met my wife, um, when we were courting, as it were, uh, I told her, <laughs> <laughs> I told her like, hey, you, you are totally allowed to have a career. Um, yeah. I'm not going to feel bad if you make more money than me. In fact, I encourage it. <laughs> <laughs> like that would be fantastic. You make as much money as you want. Absolutely, um, dude. That would be great. That would be great. Um, and partially because I knew I was going to be in ministry and I wasn't going to be making a lot of money in ministry. You either make um, nothing or you make a lot. Yeah, and I yeah. tend to work at the churches that that can't pay very well. Well, and you were um, in a position that didn't pay. Very- yeah, that's true. I mean, the last church, I, I was fairly, very, I had a teacher salary. Yeah. Um, which has gotten better these days. Not not what it needs to be, but it's gotten better than it was. Yeah. Not what it needs to be for me to go teach. But. <laughs> Amen. The, <laughs> but no, but so, look, look, one of the things I found being a stay-at-home dad, because I was a stay-at-home dad for two, a month or two, a month and a half. Mm-hmm. My wife is a, was a stay-at-home mom. And that was purely a COVID coincidence. Like, like she was supposed to go back to work March 13th of 2020, and that was when everything shut down. So, like, she just never went back to work after after we had Mabel. So that was 2020, and then 21, and then 22. And already I'm like, listen, honey, you need to get a job. Like, she needed to get out of the house because I don't think yeah. that was the right... She she and I may not be very well suited to being stay at home parents. Um, not just not because like we're bad at it, just like unless I have something to do, I'm not gonna do. If I've got something <laughs> to do, I'll just do. I'll, I will do stuff until there's nothing yeah. else to do. But if there's nothing for me to do, I'm just not gonna do anything. You guys want to yeah. play video games? <laughs> you know. Well, and so I I felt bad playing video games, but I think is the different situation is I didn't like decide to be a stay at home parent. Yeah, and I think there is room for conversation if there's a guest out there, a stay-at-home dad that wants to come talk to us about being a stay-at-home dad, like choosing that. Um, I'd be totally open to revisit this topic. Uh, but well, listen, a, I think it's I think it's any kind of stay-at-home parent, and unfortunately, it tends to fall to sure. the women. And and yeah. I have I've had a thought recently in the last few months. Well. In the last few years, really, I, I've I've decided that men are irrelevant. They it took you a while. the the be- <laughs> The best part of Wonder Woman was when uh, Gal Gadot said that uh, that men are essentially useless. They're only there for pleasure or for procreating. And he said, "Well, we have pleasure too." And well, I mean, not really, but okay. <laughs> like, really, you don't need us. We're just here to make other baby humans. That's all. The only thing you need us for, <laughs> right? Like women are strong enough to protect themselves. They don't. They don't need us. They they are smarter than us, even though most mm. people don't give them credit. 
And I mean, they, they don't need us for stuff, right? It's a great partnership to have, and there's a use for it. But like, the man's role is really just to provide for the woman because she's like the one who, no, 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 I can do everything. You just bring me stuff, and I will make stuff out of it, right? Like, like, yeah, they're brilliant. Uh, uh, they women are awesome. Whatever. Yeah, my my wife is so strong. She is in her lifetime completed two. 40 week bodybuilding programs. Your wife? Twice. My wife, yeah. One um, a little over three years ago and one almost five years ago. Give it time. You'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> I could never do it. <laughs> I, was, I was about to ask where she put the body she built. And then you said, give it time, it'll hit. <laughs> and then I got it. <laughs> apparently <laughs> my wife it's my wife my wife has a child she, she's no longer she's, a stay-at-home mom <laughs> and she's a bodybuilder <laughs> that was the best that was great so <laughs> my camera's my camera's confused again. So oh, my, my wife has a job. She's no longer a stay at home mom. And apparently, she told me this yesterday at work. They were talking about um, I don't I don't I don't know what it was called. And listen, this is another one of those disgusting warnings. It's not really disgusting. It's just really weird. Um. Apparently, you can get a. I don't know what they called it, like a simulated baby. And Tamagotchi? No. Like <laughs> like um a silicone representation. Like like they give the high school kids. Uh no. <laughs> They're not giving this to high school kids. So they they can um <laughs> insert it into your oh, uh, wow. rectum. Wow. And it, it is this? supposed to simulate childbirth. I don't know. From the other side? But, uh-huh. From the other side? Y- yes, but it is specifically for a, uh, a someone without a uterus to experience it. <laughs> and um, the hell did we get on this topic? I uh... <laughs> Bodybuilding. <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin a great joke by making it weird. <laughs> That's not bodybuilding. That was a great joke. It's not. It's not bodybuilding. Oh, you said you couldn't do it. You could simulate it. I'd rather just, just get the patches. You know, like the people put the patches on their bellies and they, it, yeah, affect the muscles. I, Don't. I that. straight up told her, honey, I've never done either, but I guarantee you that ain't the painful part. <laughs> Man, let me tell you, being a stay-at-home parent, I don't care. I don't care who you are, what you've done what your genetic contribution to the child is being a stay at home parent is not easy. Um, no, so much. So we had to bring in another person into our home. I haven't told you this. Oh yeah. We have Molly. She is here strictly to clean. It's fantastic. She forces us to do a lot of work. Um, she only sweeps. Though. She's a Roomba. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm, guess, like, I'm waiting for the punchline here. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. She, there really is no punchline. It was just. It was just a. a That'll be good. A, you got a lot of tile in your house. A weird build up, and and no, really. So, it was like you got a me, robot. It was. It wasn't this past Sunday. It was the Sunday before, and I'm about to start sweeping the floor, and I look at the floor, and I look at the carpet, and I my brain just like it does this thing where like if there's if there's a huge mess, I don't know what to do. I don't see individual yeah. things. I just Overwhelming. see Overwhelming. And I, I can't yeah. I can't break into it. I feel that. So it's taken me a long time to figure out how to piece things out of it to then break up the mess. So so I've got to clean the house. So what am I what am I gonna do to clean the house? Where do I start first? Do I vacuum? Do I sweep? And this is not an ad for Roomba. Unless Roomba you'd like to uh we're looking for those. We're looking for those. So yes, uh, I would love to tell people how great a Roomba is. I'd love to tell people how great a Roomba is. So time out. Come back to us. Then. No, I'm just joking. So, anyway, <laughs> so, so I'm looking at my floors and I'm like, I don't know where to where to go. Do I do I what do I do? My vacuum does it because I have a vacuum, but it doesn't. It 
it doesn't suck. <laughs> um, it just it it was old when we got it like ten years ago, you know. So it's just old. So my mom's got a Roomba that she doesn't really she uses it, but she doesn't. It's just her at her house, so it doesn't. Whatever. I have two kids, mm. two of two people, and a dog and a cat. I have a lot of crap on my floor. And yeah. it's like the worst thing to, for for my wife and me is you come home, you take your shoes off, and then you're walking around the house, and there's sand on the floor. It's like I can't mm. do anything. I have to sweep the floor. But dinner needs to be on the table 10 minutes ago, and I'm sweeping the house, you know? So I I just I put the broom down. I said, honey, we're getting a Roomba. <laughs> Like, like the man has said, you know, one of those deals. <laughs> and so we went and got Money it. Well spent. We went and got it. And I specifically said, we are going to try this out for a week. <laughs> and if I don't like it, I'm wrapping this thing back up and bringing it back. Cause it's way too expensive. They're really expensive. They're not cheap. Um, yeah. I love it, dude. I started, I started in the morning and by the time we get home, mm. the whole house is cleaned. It forces you wow. to pick stuff up off the floor. So your floors yeah, so are cluttered with crap. Um, it, like you have to. So it's like, when but then have an R Roomba. You have a Roomba. We had a well. So Kyle had a Roomba, uh-huh. and then he wasn't using it. So we got it for some reason, and I don't remember what we did with it. We decided it, it wasn't for us. I think because we were living. You had two stories. We had two stories in Jacksonville. Um. So we decided it wasn't for us. And then when we moved into the apartment, it was all carpet. And it wasn't really a carpet Roomba. Oh, really? Um, they're they're not not good for carpet? The one that we had, it it, it was just too low. Huh. It would get stuck. It couldn't travel. And we had a shaggy what? carpet, too. Oh, like, man. I have a, a Dyson vacuum now, and it would get stuck on that carpet all the time. I hated it. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. But man, I, I that might be worth looking into because we always have crap on our floor too. And it's I like walking around barefoot. Yeah. And and for some reason in the last year I have I hate wearing socks with no shoes. I just hate wearing socks, right? I put some socks on Riley tonight <laughs> yeah. that were Titus's and he refuses to wear them, which is a bummer because they're sock socks. Um they are socks with a picture of Socks the Cat from Lightyear on them. Cool. They're sock socks. Why and he's like, like Titus, these, I don't know. He doesn't wear them. Like, I try to put them on him all the time, and he's like, I don't want to wear the sock socks. So I'm like, fine. I'm giving these to your sister. So I gave them to her sister, and she can't stand in them. Stand because she why. slips? <laughs> Maybe it's because they're brand new, but she cannot keep her feet under her when she's wearing those socks. <laughs> That's so funny. It is tragic and adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, if you want cool socks, Vans is the place to go. Um, yeah. But no, so lately I found myself wearing socks. Like, I'll, I'll come home, I'll take my shoes off, and I've got my socks on. And I go to bed at, like, 10 o'clock, and I go, well, hell, I still have socks on. Like, I never used to do that, and I think it's because my floors are always dirty. That sounds nice. I might have to get a, a job so I can afford one of those. Oh, just find your old one. I don't. I think we gave it to somebody, but I don't remember who. I almost asked my mom for hers. Like, can I borrow, can I have your Roomba? And then I thought, no, because she does use it. So maybe we gave it to my brother in law. I don't remember. We gave it to somebody. We'll check it. Look, it was it. an older Roomba. Though. Let's ask Marcy. She might know. Like the the best part about the newer Roombas, and they they get really expensive. It's like you can get my. I mean, they were expensive before. They were never cheap. Well, they from what I understand, they were cheaper. Like they were like two hundred bucks when they first came out. But now you can't get one for, for under four, three. And uh, my wife sends me one after I've already got this one. She goes, hey, can we get this this thing? It sweeps and mops. It's $1,200. <laughs> and I said, Shh. sure, honey. You bring home an extra $1,200 next week, and it's yours. <laughs> no, it's cool. There's, a, there's an app. She tracked out my whole house. So yeah, that's cool. Who bought? Somebody bought Roomba recently. Was it Amazon? Amazon. Amazon owns Roomba, which is terrible because... Yeah, because now they know what your house looks like. <laughs> yeah. So I got the one that has a 60-day like vacuum thing. I filled it up yeah. in a week. It's got a bag. It's supposed to hold 60 days worth of crap. I filled it up in a week. Wow. And I, well, I you got a, a dog and a cat and two kids. So I do, but all of my rugs look so much better. <laughs> That's good. They look so great. 
Um, cause like I said, my old vacuum didn't and, uh, <laughs> but I filled it up in a week. And so like, why, why is this a bag? Why is this not a bin? Like yeah, it is 2022. It. Why are we still doing vacuum or vacuum bag? <clears throat> I don't get it, knows, but it's cool. Money. Uh, dollar dollar bills. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight on the Dad Shoes Podcast. The Dad Group, you don't have to talk to anyone unless you want to. Reach out to us on Instagram or Twitter at Dad Shoes Pod, or you can email us at dadshoespod at gmail.com. Be sure to check us out on Twitch, where you can catch live streams of our recordings, as well as the occasional It Takes Tuesday cooperative gameplay. Later on this week in our feed, we will be featuring a pilot episode of our new podcast, The Dominance of Fate, an Aragon read-through podcast. Check it out, give us some feedback, and let us know what you think. Bye!